Hello everyone, welcome to the installation guide tutorial for the newbies mod. Today I will be showing you guys how you guys can install this mod because all of you guys have apparently had issues with installing it despite that I think it's really clear but there are a lot of issues I have heard like the game not booting, assets not loading so that is why I have decided to make this tutorial to show you guys how to install the mod so let's go okay so what you want to do you want to head to the link in the description down below where you will i will have a link to that will lead you to quick bms and you want to scroll down and download this version 0.10.1 you want to download it just like i'm downloading right now over uh, here <laughs> right there it has downloaded because this is the tool that we will be using to extract our game files. Because if we do not extract our game files, then we cannot mod the files to get the assets in. And if you guys want to know where your game files are located, you want to go to your... Um, one second. To your Steam lo location or library, depending if you have it separated like I have. Or it, it's just within your... Uh, PC uh, local disk um, broken files times 86 and then Steam or in my case I have a separate library and you want to go to Steam apps it's one of the files go to common and uh, Lego City undercover and what you will see is are some .dat files some compilers also a .disk those won't be there and some other files over here they may not all be the same because I have modified a few. But these 10 .dat files that we have, look it's 10, 18.8 gigabytes, that's the entire game. <laughs> Pretty much. Other stuff was included for the entire game. And within these .dat files are all the files that are in the game. But in, in, or, in order to extract these, we will be using quick BMS and also another file. Which, if we scroll down even further, I think it's around here. Yeah, the Traveler's Tales, that files extractor, the uh, TG Games or Quick BMS. And it has a whole lot of games over here and many other games, so we're fine. We gotta download that one as well, once again. Right there it is. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Now you can quit the internet. In case the game doesn't boot off of this, try using a um, way the way way back machine. Just copy the link, paste it in like that. It'll take a while to load. Like I preloaded it as well. It was there already. Wanna go to 2021 and then to something like um, June 10th. Like get an older version because the newer versions don't work. Then you scroll down again. And hit 0.10.1 old. That should work. I don't know if the very old work, but these they don't work. I don't even think the download works for those. To be honest. All right, we quit out. And now you go to your game files. I just have them in a, a zip file. And also, I will get the uh, the quick BMS and the dot and, and the .bms file here. I'll be. Uh, I'll just get them to the home screen. Alright, so now we have these three thingies. Of course, my own mod, the uh, DT games, so the BMS file, and the quick BMS. The first, what you want to do is open up the, um, the BMS 0.10.1 zip file, and then open up this quick BMS.exe. Uh, you will get this uh, two windows will open here. I'll just um, drag them side by side here or underneath. You'll get the uh, console for the Quick BMS. It says Quick BMS generic file extractor uh, information for, for things. And then select BMS script. You want to go to your desktop and then select the TT Games of BMS and then open up. Of course, it doesn't have to be on your desktop, but that's just for this tutorial. I have it here. Then it says select input slash archive files type star for the whole folder and subfolders. 
that. In this case, you can just copy your Lego Studio Cover directory, paste it over here, hit enter, scroll down, and select with a shift click. You can select all the .dat files. That's game .dat, zero .dat, all the way up to number eight. You want to hit open, and then it was set says select output folder where ex where extracting files. You can just have your Lego City undercover folders. Just like I have them here. I will hit save. Now, I'm not gonna do that because I will ruin all my files. <laughs> but then the, it will, it will extract, extract all these .dat files. All of them. And then we'll have the... Uh, you'll get all these folders here. So now... Now we have all the folders of the game extracted with the... Quick BMS and the TG Games of BMS uh, file. We won't need them anymore. Now you want to make a subfolder. Well, this step is not necessary, but it's recommended if you want to revert your game to the older state. And just call it that. I already have it. So I'm not gonna override it. I'll just and within this .dat file, you wanna put all your .dat files of course and it, and they should just move away so they're not present i'm just gonna delete them because i have them backed up here now because they're in a subfolder they are no longer gonna function so the game is now gonna be dependent on these folders here you see and now the final step for the tutorial is requiring the newbie mod newbies mod i should say just open it up. Then, um, here we go. You open this install file. Within here are all the files we're gonna need to install it. Just select them all and drag and drop them over here. As we can see here, it's gonna be extracting them from the zip file. And after that, they're gonna be transferred. Now, it's a uh, gonna take a while as you can see it's about I think 500 megabytes I oh, know it's 200 <laughs> doesn't change for me it's gonna take about 60 minutes I'm just gonna quit because I already have done this and after you have done this you can just quit out of everything if you haven't quit everything is crashing right now that's not how it's supposed to work but Everything is done now. Yep, I know. That was the point, kind of. Also, so make sure you keep your .dat files, but not in the direct game directory, because otherwise it won't work. <laughs> then you will just boot your regular game. Now we just have to open up LEGO City Undercover. Tag on a controller if you want to play with a controller, of course. I have turned on mine. There we go. And the game should boot up. Oh, this failing. <laughs> but you should get the modded version. As you can see, the DC, the movie games, and Lord of the Rings. And here we go. Now, my game is going to be slightly different again from the mod. Because I'm working on future expansions. There are going to be slight differences. Like some text is going to be in German, which is not the case in the mod. That's part of a modified file that I have, just for fun. And also some audio is going to be different, because I'm working on that. Though there are different audio auditorial files in the mod itself as well, like the boost panel, which I like, and um, yeah. So you, it's booting up, this can take a while. It might even want to relap, and you get the loading in the far side. But this music doesn't play in the mod. <laughs> You just open up a file. As you can see, this is a mixed match of Italian and German. <laughs> because I have my game in Italian for the speedruns. And then... <laughs> here we go. We'll load up the game files. Boom. And then... The mod should be ready to be played. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys can now also play the mod. Make sure you use an older version of uh, 
G games to quick BMS. <laughs> this is so cool having like Buzz Lightyear, um, Sam from Lord of the Rings, Aquaman. And of course, I couldn't modify all the files. And the best of all, the Flash. Jason McCain. Ah, oh, I died. But there you guys have it. That's the installation guide for Newbies mod. I hope you guys found it informative, of course. Ooh, can I hit Rex door? Nope. There's a way to exit this part and continue to the next with the door. And then I'm dead again. <laughs> but I will see you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Goodbye. Bye 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 bye.